Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to another edition of Subscription Box Sunday. Today I have five different boxes to share with you all. I have the Bath Bevy and Bath Bevy Tubless boxes for April, the Cacao Chocolate box for April, the Ice Cream Beauty box for April, and the Wild Grain box for April. And with that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and on my channel I unbox lots of different subscription boxes and on Sundays I like to unbox multiple in one video so you can see them all at once. So if you like these subscription box Sunday videos make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads and let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today. I am really excited to dive into all of these boxes. How is the weather where you are? I wanna know down in the comments below. Here, we're like almost in like summer weather territory. It's like 89 degrees where we're having really hot days. Luckily, like the evenings are kind of still cool, but it's hotter than expected right now. And trust me, I am ready for the warmer weather, but I'm like, okay, I need, I love like, 70s that's like my favorite temperature so i'm hoping we get some more of that versus going straight into like the 80 90 degree weather but definitely know let me know down in the comments how is the weather where you are also i i got a code for skin chemist london i don't have anything to show today but they did give me a coupon code for 25 percent off their website so i figured i'd at least share that with you guys in case you're looking for like some skincare i was looking on their site earlier and they have these really awesome like monthly skincare kits. I think they have a subscription one where it's like $29.99 a month and you get four different products and it, it does renew each month if you want to like get your skincare frequently or you can just purchase like one off. But they have some really nice stuff. So um, again, I have that 25% off coupon code. I'll put that down below in case you are searching for new skincare. Let's kick things off with the Bath Bevy and the Bath Bevy Tubless Boxes for April of 2023. Tonight is a bubble bath night, so I might be able to use some of these goodies in the boxes. Um, but if you're unfamiliar with Bath Bevy, they are a monthly bath subscription. So you get things like bath bombs, bubble bars, uh, bubble bath, salt, bath salts, lotions, all sorts of bath related products. The box is $43.21 a month plus shipping. And and each month has a theme. And there was a, then also the tubless version of the box. So if you don't have a bathtub, you can't take baths, you don't like taking baths, then the tubless box may be for you. This is gonna have shower and bathroom related products, but nothing specific to the bathtub. So things like shower gels, shower steamers, um, candles, lotions, things like that. That box is also $43.21 a month plus shipping and usually has the same theme as the regular box. We will kick things off with the regular Bath Bevy box. When you open it up, that is what it looks like. And it looks like the theme this month is spa day, which I'm so excited for. On the back, it does list everything inside and it does look like there are six different products in the box. The very first thing that I'm pulling out, I'm so excited for, this is one of the whipped soap scrubs and this is in the scent spa day her whipped soap scrubs are my favorite product that she has this one has notes of avocado lemongrass and a bergamot i'm so excited for this so it's just like a scrub i love to use these like pre-shave on my legs to help loosen up the skin follicles but it can also also help exfoliate the skin Ooh, i really like that it's very like citrusy and clean and just a light green scrub Oh, I really, really, it's like a light, clean, fresh spa-like scent. These are my favorite products to get. Like, I genuinely, I love these whip soap scrubs so much. So I'm very excited to have another one. Ooh. Up next, we have some bubble bath. This is the green tea and cucumber bubble bath. This is nine ounces of bubbles, and you can add one to two to your tub um, as you fill it up, or you can put more if you're somebody who likes lots of bubbles. Let's give this a sniff. I do really love her bubble bath as well. It's always super nice. This is a very relaxing scent. Like everything is very relaxing so far as far as since I mean, I know we've only smelled two products, but just that green tea and cucumber is so fresh and clean and it's a light, nice scent. Oh, this is gonna be such a relaxing bath. I cannot wait to use some of this stuff. Honestly, I'm probably gonna use some of this stuff tonight when I take a bath. So very, very excited and a fun green color. The next thing that I'm pulling out is this. So this is not by Bath Betty. This is actually by Two Wild Hairs. And this is their Everyday is Spa Day Bath Fizzy Dust. So it says here, this is an invigorating union of fresh air with a blend of three citruses and skin-loving olive oil. Add it all to one luxurious bath or use half at a time for two uses. Okay, so this is basically like little bath bomb dust. 
fresh air and citrus fruits. Okay, I want to smell this. Ooh, that's not what I was expecting it to smell like. Because when I think of fresh air, I don't know what scent I, I don't know, but it's a very interesting, unique scent. It is not what I was expecting. I do like it. It's yummy. It's stronger than I was anticipating. Like there's a strong scent in there. And I don't know if that's coming from the fresh air or from the searches. Did I just get berry? I don't know. It's a very unique sense. I really like it. A bath bomb dust is always super fun um, to throw in the bath. And I love that it can be like one to two uses. So you can, I probably will make it two uses because that's like, it's like two bath bombs worth to me or one huge one. So I'll probably use this for two baths unless I get greedy and then I might use the whole thing. Up next, we have one of her bath bombs and I got the Chillax bath bomb. Now you could have gotten a relaxing bath bomb in different scents. I got Chillax, which is lavender and citrus. So she does package her bath bombs in these boxes with squiggles so that they don't get damaged in transit. And this is what the bath bomb looks like, kind of blue and purple mixed together. I feel like maybe I've had this Chillax scent before or maybe I've had her lavender scent before. I really, really like her lavender scent. I feel like it's a unique lavender scent in a very good way. For some reason, like the two colors are making me think of Blue's Clues. <laughs> I don't even know, but it smells delicious. Now the other scent you could have gotten was Me Time, Lavender Champagne, and then I got Chillax. Ooh, up next is something that I have not gotten from her before, like, or a product like this, like we've gotten bath salts, but this is a relaxation salt soak blend. It looks really pretty, like it's got flowers and things in here. So it's a beautiful blend of Dead Sea and Himalayan pink salt with a combination of rose, hibiscus, chamomile, orange peel, lemongrass, and lavender. Um, you pour the salt soak blend directly in the tub while filling or pour the salts into the included muslin tea bag to contain all those lovely botanicals as you soak. I highly recommend using the muslin bag or, or an organza bag or anything like that if you have it so that the stuff inside does not clog your drain. Um, because that's not fun. Let's give this a smell. Oh, it is tightly packed in here too. Oh, wow, it smells so good. I'm trying not to spill it because there's like, it's like full to the brim. I didn't even touch that. Oh, it smells very relaxing. You can see the little bag on top that you can use there. And then it's got all the beautiful botanical, like yummy lavender, lemongrass, rosy, all the stuff that I mentioned inside of it. And then last but not least, we have a cucumber melon bath bomb, which sounds so good. I'm a big cucumber melon fan and I love fruity scented bath products. So this one's in this nice green color. Oh, yum. It smells so good and fruity and just like crisp and clean with that cucumber. Oh, that smells so, so good. All right, so that is everything in the regular bath bevy box for April. Now let's check out the tubless version. So the tubless box does have a little sticker on it to indicate that it's the tubless box. And then when you open it up, it also has the spa day theme. Again, the back does have all the products on the back and this does have six products inside as well. Up first, I'm very excited. We got the sugar scrub again in the same spa day scent. I love the scent, I love these. All that to say, if you, you can choose to get both subscriptions, there may be some overlap. Sometimes you may get like a similar product in a different scent, but obviously for this one, it was the exact same, but I'm not complaining because this smelled incredible and I like her soap scrubs are genuinely my favorite product that she has. So I'm very excited to have this. All right, up next we have some shower steamers. Now it's listed as one product like on the thing, but actually you get two different scents. So you get the calming lavender scent and you also get the lemon grass scent and two of each. For me, one of her shower steamers lasts me about two showers. So we're looking at eight showers worth of shower steamers here for me. Now these are great. It creates such a spot-like experience in the shower. You want to put them not in the direct stream of water, but just so like a little bit of water will hit them um, to activate them and then turn the water up hot and close the space or shut the door. And you're just gonna have this lovely aromatic steam um, to shower with. So again, you get the calming lavender and the lemongrass, so you get both. All right, up next, we have something from Green Daffodil and these are their Spa Day Tea Lights for pack. So it says green tea, aloe, and lemon blend together for a clean, relaxing smell with added dried blue larkspur and calendula petals for color. Ooh, they smell very, very nice. Like a light spa, refreshing, sweet scent. 
I really, really like those. So four little tea lights, and every time you get candles in the box, she does provide some matches. So you just get a little pack of, little matchbook of matches. Up next, we have a bar of soap. It's a black bar of soap. This is the Charcoal and Tea Tree Soap Bar. Tangy Tree Tree Essential Oils tickles the nose of this intoxicating bar of charcoal soap. Ooh. I can smell it a little bit through the plastic, but it's obviously hard to smell through since it is sealed. But charcoal is probably great if you have like any sort of like acne on your body and you want to use this as you're washing yourself in the shower to kind of help clean out and purify those pores. So a really, really nice bar of soap. Up next, we have a little foot brush. So this is give yourself that full spa experience with the extra exfoliating powers of the natural fibers in this foot shaped foot brush. Um, to help maintain soft and healthy feet. Y'all know I've said it in videos before. I do not like cracked dry feet. I put lotion on my feet frequently before I go to bed and I use a pumice stone when I'm in the bathroom, my feet, all that kind of stuff. So this will be super fun. I love that it's like in the shape of a foot that makes it extra special. So a nice little foot brush. And last but not least, we have one of her body lotions. This is the Green Tea and Cucumber Body Lotion. Um, so in the other box, we get the Green Tea and Cucumber Bubble Bath. And in this box, we have the lotion. So they come in little pump bottles like this. This thing kind of like seals it in place. I do want to just like get a little scent of this. Oh, it came out. Oh, it smells really, really relaxing and nice. Very, very, her lotions are very, very moisturizing. Oh, and it is a very spa-like scent. All right, and that is everything in the Bath Bevy Tub List and the Bath Bevy Boxes for April, the spa day theme. Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think of the Bath Bevy and Bath Bevy Tub List Boxes for April? Um, my favorite scent, I think, actually is the soap scrub. And I also love the soap scrubs. That's my favorite thing. So I think that's my favorite thing. But definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And I'll leave a link in case you're interested in signing up. Also, I this box was sent to me free for review. Everything in this video was except for the wild grain box. I did pay for the wild grain box with my own money. Up next, I am super excited to dive into the cacao box for April. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the cacao box, it is a monthly premium specialty crafted chocolate bar subscription where each month you get four to five of these wonderful chocolate bars. The box is $46.99 a month. And then I do have a coupon code um, that will get you $5 off of your first box. Again, this one is sent to me free for review. And these are really, really nice chocolate bars, which is why the price is the way it is. Some of these tend to be bean to bar. Um, get some really, really nice chocolate to dive into. This is not your average chocolate. So on top, you do get a little card about the cacao box, which on the back teaches you how to taste chocolate. So high level, I'm not gonna go into all the details, but you prepare yourself, cleanse your palate, look, touch, smell, snap, taste, and enjoy. Um, so today I will be tasting out these delicious chocolates. So this month we have four different chocolates and this is what they look like. So their pamphlet is online and you do get it emailed to you each month. So I have it pulled up on my iPad next to me because you get to learn so much more about the bars and how they're made and the tasting notes for each. I don't drink alcohol, so I can't do like wine tastings or beer tastings or things like that. But this box allows you to have like a chocolate tasting and it is so fun to taste the bars and compare them and see how different the different chocolate notes are between the different bars. So starting off with a bar from Ritual Chocolate, um, this company produces small batch bean to bar chocolate using classic European methods and premium cacao from select sources. It was founded in 2010. And in their small chocolate factory in Park City, Utah, they are involved with the entire chocolate making process to ensure their values for the highest achievable quality are present every step of the way. And the bar that we have from them today is their Honeycomb Toffee 75% Chocolate Bar. So it says, flying the beehive state flag, locally sourced raw wildflower honey is used to make airy the toffee that is scattered atop Belize dark chocolate. Um, they wanted this bar to represent their home state of Utah. In doing so, they turned to hollow tree honey for their carefully sourcing of raw or their careful sourcing of raw honey from hives across the wash it wash it trains so this is tasty notes of honey dried fruit and dark excuse me roasty dark chocolate Ooh, okay so the packaging on these is always super fun so rituals tends to have a ritual tends to have an opening like this that opens up like this which is so fun. There's so much more that you can learn about their chocolate making process on there, which I love. And then you can put your tasting notes on this side, which is really, really nice. 
Um, so it's really cool. I'm gonna have to read about their chocolate making process after this. I love that they tell so much more about the product. Then the bar looks like this, and on the back you can see that yummy toffee. So very cool. All right, let's taste a piece. Definitely get that nice dark, roasty chocolateness that they were describing. But that honeycomb toffee piece kind of adds a little brightness to the dark, heavy roastiness. I really like that bar. Really enjoyed it. My favorite part about getting this box is actually comparing it to other bars of chocolate. So I'm excited to try the next one because it just then it makes this one like the flavor change a little bit. I don't know how to describe it, but it's very fun. Um, one thing I did forget to mention is now that we're heading into the warmer months, they do package the chocolates in a bag with an ice pack um, so that they don't melt. So just FYI, if you get the box, it will be shipped with an ice pack during the warmer months. So you'll definitely want to make sure if you do decide to sign up for it, that you get it, you know, out of the mail pretty quickly so that you can take the ice pack out and get the chocolates into a cooler temperature and all that fun stuff. Up next, we have a bar of chocolate from Dick Taylor. Adam Dick and Dustin Taylor, they've always loved crafting and they have a background in woodworking and boat building. Um, and I've always loved working with their hands. Um, and they saw the, the similarities in woodworking and craft chocolate mating, making. And in 2010, bought their first chocolate making equipment. And their chocolate captures and highlights the subtle flavor nuances in the cacao they source from around the world with the goal to make an enjoyable chocolate experience for us. So this is their Belize Toledo 72% chocolate. Um, this bar has an intense dried fruit flavor of plum and apricot, has a nice firm snap with bright acidity and a long finish. This has a fruity and bright note. Okay, I'm excited. This one snapped too, but it was a very like soft bar, I feel like. So I'm excited for this one. This one does have a little pull tab on the back. And then it talks more about like the origin of the bean and all that fun stuff on the back as well, which is very fun. Their bars are wrapped really nicely in this pretty, it's not foil, but this pretty like packaging. Their front, the front of the bar does have that like same pattern on it that the packaging does. This piece was already broken. It's kind of a big piece, but I'm gonna taste this one anyway. So let's try it. Wow, what a difference between the bars. This one hits you with that fruitiness, that brightness. It's a rich fruit flavor. I have, I like fruity things. As I said in the previous video, I love fruity flavored bath bombs. And I think I'm starting to realize that I like, I really like bars of chocolate with like fruity notes. I mean, I like oh, a lot of different types of chocolate. I like the chocolate before that did not have fruity notes, but I feel like I have a preference towards things with fruity notes really, really good. Their chocolate is a, has a very smooth mouth feel to it, um, which I really always enjoy from them. And yeah, that tasted delicious. I loved that bar. Up next, I'm very excited. We have something from Taza Chocolates um, and they make stone ground chocolates and the consistency of stone ground chocolates, I really love it. Uh, there's a different texture to it and it's a little gritty, but in a, like, a good way. I don't mean that in a bad way. Cacao is so complex in flavor that they want to let it shout loud and proud and that's why they do less to bring us more. The stone grind organic cacao beans into perfectly unrefined, minimally processed chocolate with bold flavor and texture unlike anything you've ever tasted. So this is their Mexicana Cacao Puro 70%. I've had, I think I've gotten Taza chocolate in this a while back. I think it was a different one though. So this says stone ground organic Mexican style 70% dark chocolate discs bursting with bold flavor and texture. Experience chocolate with true grit, two discs in each package, perfect for sharing. So this is bold and fruity flavors. I just mentioned how much I love fruity flavors and here we go again, so let's dive in. So there is a sticker on the back that you can pull up and then inside there are two different discs of chocolate. That's what they look like. So let me break off a piece. This one definitely snaps pretty loudly and when you look at it, and it may be hard to see on camera, I don't think you'll be able to see the level of detail, you can see kind of the grittiness of the stone ground in it. So let me, and I cut it all over my finger too. Let me try this. Really, really delicious. I love the texture of this one, the grittiness, which normally would sound not good, like, but it is, I really like the way it is when it's in chocolate. This one is a lot brighter and I don't want to say fruitier, but a lot, maybe a sweeter fruit than the uh, Dick Taylor bar. Like this one was felt, even though this is 72% and this is 70%, this one tasted or felt like it tasted a lot darker than this bar. This bar, oh, it's not even really a bar, this disc, um, just was a lot sweeter and, um, but still very fruity, but fruity in a maybe like brighter direction than the other one. Like it, the other one was like fruity, but it was like 
you know, like plum and apricot is like more of a deep fruit flavor. I don't really know how to get to this. I don't want to say that this is citrusy, but it kind of had that like light bright thing of a citrus type of fruitiness, but was delicious. And last but not least, we have a bar from Sabati Chocolate. So this is Modica style chocolate, um, which is from southeastern Sicily, which has a reputation of cheap cacao from dubious sources. And then Simone Sabiani came in um, and um, kind of created this chocolate. So this Sabati brand showcases how ethical sourcing, attention to detail, and thoughtful inclusions can match the unique style of the Baroque beauty of its rich history. So this is the Nella Organic Traditional Modica Chocolate with Cinnamon. Ooh, this is a 60% bar. So in Nella, the traditional combination from Modica is offered with organic cinnamon grown in the spice gardens of Sri Lanka, um, where a rare variety grows. It's less pungent and very sweet. So the tasting notes of this bar are cinnamon. Ooh, okay, I love cinnamon flavored things. I'm curious to see like how much the cinnamon comes out in comparison to the chocolate. So this one just opens in the back like so. And then you have a little almost, oh, this is cute. It's almost like a little bookmark of the chocolate. And then you do have the bar wrapped like this. Okay, so the bar is broken out into different chunks like this, which there's are huge. Oh, I mean, not throw it across the room. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna break this in half, I think. This one does look, I don't know if it's stone ground, but you can, I think you can see the little like chunks inside that one. So I don't know if it's stone ground, but it looks like it may have more texture to it. It looks stone ground to me, honestly. So we'll see. All right, let's try this. I love that bar. I think that might be my favorite bar in this box. You get the cinnamon in the perfect amount. It's like right there in the middle. And right now I can taste like the taste of cinnamon, like Christmassy, yummy cinnamon, like in my mouth like that's what you're left with that's the final note and you taste it like it's not straight cinnamon but you're getting chocolate and cinnamon at like the perfect balance um again this is a rougher coarser bar i like a bar that's like either super smooth or super coarse not something that's in between and so i actually really like the selection this week because i feel or this week this month because i feel like we've got a really smooth bar and we got some rougher bars this i think is my favorite it's cold processed chocolate and uh, apparently he, uh, there's a lack of added cocoa butter and a rough texture uh, from the raw materials that go in. And that's just, I think, as for all their bars, but really, really loved this one. So those are all of the bars this month. If you get this box, which bar did you like the best? I'm going to go with the cinnamon one, the Sabati cinnamon one at the end. But would love to hear your thoughts down below if you get this box or if you go out and get it, then let me know too. Um, again, I do have that $5 off coupon code on your first box down below. i uh, love to hear your thoughts and I will leave a link in case you're interested in signing up. All right, up next, let's dive into the Ice Cream Beauty Box for April. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Ice Cream Beauty Box, this is a monthly beauty subscription where each month you get five to seven beauty products for $25 a month. This is a bang for your buck box where I feel like you totally get a ton of stuff for the money that you're paying. Um, I do also have a 10% off coupon code down below in case you're interested in signing up. Uh, this box was sent to me free for review. When you open up the box, that is what it looks like. The theme for April is spring has sprung and they do list everything on the card. This box does tend to be very makeup heavy, but may include skincare and things like that. But if you're looking for a makeup heavy box, this is a great option. That being said, the first thing that I'm pulling out is a skincare product. This is from Earth Harbor, and this is their Glow Juice Refining Enzyme Mask, which retails for $40. So it says here, with the start of the spring season, we wanted to give your skin a little boost and refresh with this refining enzyme mask. It can be used as an all over mask or as a spot treatment and can help with dull skin, redness, acne pores, and excess oil. Okay, this sounds perfect for me because I have acne pores, excess oils, all that fun stuff that I would like to not have. Ooh, <gasps> look at that. Why does that look magical? I feel like on camera it does not look as magical, but when like the light hits it, it just glows. It's very jelly-like or gel-like. <gasps> oh, I will be using this. I love it. It's like it's like almost like purpley blue hues when the light hits it. I, I just don't feel like on camera it's looking the same way. I wonder if it has any sort of scent to it. I don't remember if Earth Harbor products do or not. Ooh, uh, a light, sweet, fruity, maybe citrusy scent to it. Ooh, like a light citrus is kind of what I'm getting. Okay, it's red seaweed and fruit enzymes. Okay, well, fruit enzymes, that would make sense that it smells fruity. Okay, um, I'm actually really excited. Normally, a lot of Earth Harbor products aren't really 
amazing for my skin type. So I'm not, I don't normally get super excited about the brand, but I am genuinely excited about this product. And I might have to do this mask tonight. I need to get better about doing masks, but I just get so lazy about doing masks. I don't have a problem putting them on. It's just like, then I sit down and 10 minutes later or however many minutes later, I don't want to stand back up and wash it off or whatever. Um, for this one, you apply to clean skin and leave on for three or more minutes and then rinse. Ooh, I kind of like that because you can like put it on and not sit down because <laughs> it's only three minutes. Um, it has AHA, BHA in it. Um, it naturally resurfaces, cools, hydrates, and firms the skin um, with red seaweed and then fruit enzymes, white willow bark, and aloe leaf juice to reveal greater clarity, look improved skin texture and tone, and a more youthful glow all without irritating your skin. I am very excited for this. And we're getting a $40 product in a $25 box and we still have so much more to dive into. All right, up next we have a palette from Saucebox Cosmetics and this is their tarot palette. So it's retail for $25. So I think you would get a different one. There are three different ones you could have gotten. I got the moon, which says here, it's a reflection on past, past wounds and hurts, but she also is a symbol of becoming a whole in cycles of life or becoming a whole, like, a W H O L E. <laughs> um, never dwell on the sadness like the moon. You will be whole again. There was also the magician and the lovers. Um, so let's open up the moon palette. I'm hoping this is like maybe cool tone because I feel like the moon is like gives me cool tone vibes. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Super cute. It does kind of look like a tarot card and it has the beautiful gold foiling. Ooh, and yes, it is cool toned. And some fun colors there. So you do get a full mirror. I actually really like the tones. You do get some blues, but everything else is like more standard if you're not a big fan of the blue look. So all four of these here are shimmers and all four, four of those there are mattes. I feel like there's a lot that you can do with this. You can do like an icy blue look using those colors or you can kind of keep it more neutral. So a really fun little eyeshadow palette and this is a vegan palette. Then we have two of these and I feel like we've definitely gotten these, probably not these exact ones before. Um, so these are from Chantico Beauty and these are exclusive to the box. We get two of these and they retail for $24. I don't know either if it's 12 each or 24 each, but these are their Candy Chrome Loose Multi-Chrome Pigments. Okay, I'm excited to dive in. So it does say here that they're launching their five new candy chrome shades by giving each of you two to try. So these are multi-chromes that shift between three to four colors depending on how the light hits them. These are loose pigment slash cream hybrids and they act like normal loose pigments and maintain their shine and sparkles, but glide on really buttery and soft. Um, all five colors will be available on chanticobeauty.com in mid-May. Ooh, this is fun. We kind of get like a pre-launch at them. I, from what I remember for, yeah, they're like, it's pigment. So it's gonna be like kind of hard to, I am gonna, I am gonna do a little swatchy of this. Ooh. Now that I just rubbed it in, this is because it's a pressed pigment, I probably needed to pat down and I did not do that right. So I didn't apply it right, but it's a fun purple shimmer. And I feel like it's like purple to blue and maybe a little bit of green. And I do see some like yellow red in there when I turn that. So that one was in Twilight. And then we have one here, Turnisol, I think. And this one's like a gold green type highlight. Let's, or highlight, like shimmer. So let's see. Again, gotta be careful because it is loose pigment. All right, so I patted that one in. Ooh, that is so pretty. <gasps> oh, these are so fun. And I can't wait to play around with them. And it's fun that we get to like try out two shades of a product that like isn't really out yet. And again, it's a smaller brand, so love that. That is one thing I like about this box is you do get to try some smaller makeup brands out as well. Up next, we get this here. This is the Contour Palette by Edries, Edries, I don't know, Beauty Diaries. This retails for $10. It says, we're so excited to introduce this Puerto Rican brand into our box. These palettes are perfect for travel. Um, the writing trans translates to with much love for you, precious. Uh, remember to have fun, makeup is art. Um, a glad heart makes a happy face. Oh, that's really fun. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, that's what it says up here. Okay, really cool. So it does come with a mirror and these are the different contour shades there. I love that there's a wide range. Um, I'm probably gonna have to stay on this side of the palette because I'm pale, but that doesn't mean that I couldn't use some of these. Um, and I love that it gives you different shades, like you can contour your nose and different parts of your face with this. Um, so I like, this is really fun and I feel like different people could use this. If you have a really dark skin complexion, it you, this may not work for you, but I feel like if you're like light to medium, this is a really, really great 
contour palette that you can use. All right, and then we have a purple highlighter palette from Kevin and Coco Beauty, which retails for $17. Ooh, okay, so it says that this palette can be used as an eyeshadow or as a highlight. Um, this highlighter contains sparkle and will add an intense shine to any area that it is applied to. Don't be exper uh, don't be afraid to experiment with new colors. Ooh, I love that. Um, I I love to their their little cards are starting to give more information, which I think is great. Now, purple highlighter, I'm not gonna lie, scares me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest. <gasps> Ooh, okay, but this palette is very fun. You do get a fun little mirror. I don't know why I'm obsessed with that one, but I'm obsessed with that one. I love that it has like the purple, but it also has the white. So you could do just the purple or you could kind of mix them together. Like some of these are definitely ones that I could absolutely use. I probably will stick to more like the bottom row. The top row, I could use this probably as a blush or as like a kind of a bronzer, but because I'm so pale, I am gonna swatch a few of these. I wanna get a little bit of that purple in here and just try. Um, a few of them out. So there they are there. Actually, I did swatch the purple, which is right there. And I, it's actually a very wearable purple. I think the highlights are really, really pretty and I'm excited to play around with them. Um, I swatched all of the, the these shades there. I didn't do those ones um, just because I think those are the ones that I will gravitate towards more, but I'll definitely have to experiment. And I think it could be super fun because we have that purple pigment that we could kind of do a purple highlight with too if you wanted to do like a fun little purple moment so lots of fun and again these could be used on the eyes as well which is great all right and that is everything in the eye scream beauty box for april i thought this one was really really good i love that we get to try lots of different brands you get some fun things to play around with but you still get stuff that's like within your comfort zone if you're somebody who's a little bit afraid of color so i love the mix in here and i'm super excited to try out this face mask as well so definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and again i do have that 10 percent off coupon code in case you're interested in signing up and last but not least, let's dive into the Wild Grain box for April of 2023. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Wild Grain, this is seriously one of my favorite subscriptions. It is a monthly like baked good slash pasta subscription where you get frozen baked goods sent to you that you get to bake fresh in your home. So a lot of their breads are sourdough breads, which are better for your gut health. They use clean ingredients, eco-friendly packaging. Um, these are, arti you get artisanal pastries, fresh hand cut pastas, um, and you're helping support small bakeries by purchasing this box. I genuinely love this box. I do pay for this box with my own money. It is $89 a month. It's not cheap, but the stuff that you get inside is such good quality and it's so much better than the breads and the baked goods that you will get if you go to the grocery store. These are all like freezer to table and 25 minutes. So really quick to do. Sometimes you have to like, like if you're baking the bread, sometimes you have to let it sit for another 20 after it's out of the oven to let it continue the bake, but it tastes like it is fresh baked when it gets to you. Now, I think you can do like the baked goods box or you can get the baked goods and pasta box, but you can change that really easily in your profile. Each month it'll pick the stuff for you automatically, but you, I think before like the fifth or the sixth, whatever day it is, you can go in and change the stuff and substitute stuff out, which I've started doing every month to get the exact stuff that I want. So when it's your, if it's your first time signing up, you may just wanna get what they give you just to kind of taste it and kind of see. But now I go in every month and I edit the stuff to more of the stuff that I would like. Um, I do have a coupon code, by the way, um, where you can get $10 off of your first box, um, which is a great deal, so I'll leave that down below. Now, I do get the pasta and baked goods subscription. I do substitute out my pastas. I guess I can start with those. Um, normally, it'll come with tonarelli and fettuccine, which are good. I actually prefer some of the other things that they have, so I get their potato nochi, which is just like a potato pasta. I, I got this for the first time last month, and I really, really loved it. These cook for two to four minutes, um, and it's just delicious. Then they also have tortellini, um, which I love. This is fresh cheese tortellini. This cooks in six to eight minutes. I like tortellini, but there's a lot of like the frozen ones that you get at like the grocery store that I just can't eat anymore. And I don't know why they make me feel sick. I don't know, whatever. But these I really, really love. And they're just, they, to me personally, they taste way better than the ones that you can get at the grocery store. Now, if you sign up right now, you they I, when I'm filming this, which is on the Thursday, these go up on Sundays, all that blah, blah, blah. You've heard the spiel by now. Um, there is a free croissants for life um, offer. Their croissants are so good. You bake them and it tastes like you got a croissant out of the bakery. It is a million times above anything that you'll get in the store. Um, so I do get those 
because I did sign up with that deal. Now, there, it comes with four, but I've already eaten two. My boyfriend and I love these for breakfast when we spend the weekends together. Um, and so these bake for 18 to 22 minutes. I normally put them in for 20 minutes. They're just so good and flaky and buttery and it tastes straight out of a bakery. I've never had a croissant this good at home ever. So really highly recommend. This is the reason why I will not cancel my subscription is because I want free croissants forever and ever and ever because these are good. Then there are breads and baked goods that you get. Each month there's like a face, a featured type of pastry. This month, and I'm so excited, I have not made them yet, is fudge brownies. Look at how good they look. I'm so excited to try these. When I got the box, I had already baked brownies the weekend before, like gluten-free ones, and I was trying to use them up. I think it was the gluten-free ones, the mix that I got in a cooking panda box. Um, but these look just so incredibly good. These bake for 30 minutes, and then you let them rest in the tray for 15 minutes to finish the bake. So I'm so excited to try these. I've never tried their brownies before, but they look delicious. So each month, the kind of like pastry thing or whatever they have as like an, a thing is just a little bit different. Um, you, if you don't want it, you can switch, you can substitute it out for something else. But I tend to always like stick with it just to try something fun and new because they don't always have these as an option each month. So like the fudge brownies, I don't know if I've seen them as an option before. Very excited to try them. And then you can get loaves of bread. So they, you, I think when you sign up, it comes with like three loaves of bread or something like that. Now, I live alone. I do not need that many loaves of bread. I don't have a lot of freezer space. Like the fridge that's in my apartment, like I feel like the, free the freezer is just not very big. I can't wait till someday I have like a full size fridge. <laughs> It'll be amazing. So what I've started to do is get one loaf of bread and then substitute out some of the other things. One of my favorite ones, and I got this one last month too, is their slow fermented three seed bread. This is what it looks like. Um, it bakes for 18, 20, 22 minutes, and then you let it cool 20 minutes. I got this last month, and I actually have it part of it in my fridge that I'm using up. This is a really, really good seeded bread. If you're somebody who likes a seeded bread, I have very high bread standards, by the way, because I'm part German. And Germans have just have very high bread st standards. Uh, there was an exchange student here when I was in college, and he was like, where do I get good bread? And I'm like, I'm so sorry, we don't have that here. Um, if you're German or like another European, from another European country that has like good bread, like you just know, like the pumpest stuff we get in the grocery stores here is just nothing. So if you want good quality bread, this is it. Um, they have plenty of other sourdough options. I love the ciabatta one. I lo I've loved every single bread that I've tried. This is just one of my top favorites is the slow fermented three seeded bread. So I grabbed more of this for this month. And one thing that I fell in love with last month were their sourdough rolls. Now my, I did rip my bag open. <laughs> So I put it in a little freezer bag. Um, I actually got two bags of these. I have the other, I left the other one in the freezer because I'm you you get the point. But it's just these small little sourdough rolls. And what I love to do with these is like bake two to four at a time. Um, and I use these for like brötchen. So if you're German, you know, like you have your Abendbrot and evening bread. You put a little cheese or marmalade or something on it. Um, so I do these for like little lunches or snacks or like a little breakfast and I like being able to just bake just a couple of the ones that I need Particularly because like I said when you live alone It's it's hard to cook for one person and like not waste food But make sure you have enough food and so these rolls are perfect because I can bake them You know just the right amount for what I need and they're really delicious and they have great flavor because of the sourdough So if you're somebody who's like German and likes your Brötchen and you're in, the, in, your, and you're in the United States And there's not a lot of options for Brötchen and stuff like that. These I honestly have really enjoyed for that and that's everything that I got in my wild grain box this month but again there's lots of substitutions if you want more loaves of bread you can do more loaves of bread like you can really customize what you get in this box um, if you want to I would love to hear like if you get wild grain like what are your favorite loaves of bread and, and things I think I've tried a lot of them now but definitely let me know what your favorites are in case I have not tried something um, but would love to hear your thoughts down below if you tried tried wild grain what products have you really liked if you haven't tried wild grain what products sound good to you I would love to hear that down below and again I do have that ten dollar off coupon code in case you're interested in signing up and that is everything in this week's subscription box Sunday video. I thought this one was a really, really good one. I always have fun with these videos. I hope that you guys enjoy watching them as well. Favorite box, favorite product. All right, I'm not gonna lie, favorite box and favorite product. I, I, I don't know about favorite box because honestly this video has some of my like all time favorites. Part of me is leaning to towards wild grain because I'm just so excited to 
tuck into all of this. So I'm just gonna say Wild Grain, even though like genuinely, it's this is a really hard pick for me this week. So I'm curious, is it a hard pick for you this week? Um, and then favorite product is either gonna be that like like sh um, soap scrub from the um, Bath Bevy boxes, or it might be these um, sourdough rolls, just because these have become like. I tried them last month and they are just going to be a new staple in my life and I'm really loving them. So definitely let me know your thoughts down below. What was your favorite box and your favorite products? If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.